episode, we have serial entrepreneur and corporate innovator Michael Duke as our guest. When a relative was badly burned in a fire requiring immediate interstate transport to a regional burn center, Michael realized that having fast, affordable, point-to-point -point air transport is a necessity, not just a luxury. Michael founded DBT Aero to commercialize ultra-efficient, sustainable aircraft that can scale from small aerial inspection drones or personal air taxis to business, cargo, and regional aircraft. This is a double box tail. It is a patented aircraft. We are the only developers of a double box tail in the world. Most people think that this is an upper wing, and so they would consider this a box wing since it's all joined. In reality, this is the tail. So our wings have no control surfaces on them, we want the wing to be as smooth and efficient as possible so there are no ailerons or flaps on the wings. Instead, what we've done is we've taken and put the ailerons and combined them with an elevator, and we call this then an elevon. So we have two elevons, and when they are opposite, they're acting as an aileron. When they are turned the same, then they are acting as an elevator. We also have a V-tail and a rudder on each of the V-tails. The V-tails and the elevons are then connected to winglets, which are then connected to the main wing. We have a boom tube that extends back from the root of the wing and connects into the V-tail. That gives us the entire box structure, which makes the wings very stiff, so we don't have the flex that you normally get with a long cantilevered wing that improves the efficiency. We also don't have any tips on our wings or on an empennage, which is a great source of drag. So we have very low drag, very smooth, very fast aircraft. And because we lack the turbulence, it also is much quieter. Another feature of this aircraft is the aft propulsion. Many people prefer propulsion at the front of the aircraft. And that is primarily because most aircraft use piston engines that are air-cooled. That air cooling helps up front, but since we're using a non-air-cooled engine, we're able to then move it to the tail and reduce the amount of noise and the turbulence that flows over the fuselage. Typically, you have prop wash that flows over the fuselage, and that's another source of noise in the cabin. By having our prop at the back, we're able to then reduce the amount of noise that we have in, inside the cabin. Mm -hmm.